Hello children. Today we will do chapter 5 of your English course book. The name of the chapter is Bird Watching. Children, hobbies are very important for us. Hobbies are important so that we all can relieve tension and stressful daily routine. Hobbies are things we do for our enjoyment and fun. They let us relax. And children, bird watching is a kind of hobby. You can see here picture and there are many birds as you can see in the picture. So bird watching is also a kind of hobby. And bird watching means going outside to enjoy watching birds. It's a popular hobby and someone who does this is called a bird watcher. Children, we also call them ornithologists. Ornithologists are person who watch bird. And uh, this hobby helps us to connect with nature. With the voice, plumage pattern, colors, birds invite us to learn about them. So uh, let's read the chapter and know more about birds. But uh, while reading uh, the chapter, we'll come across some new words which are written in a box at the right corner of every page. So let's go through those words first. First word is hobby. Children, as I've told you, something that you like doing when you are not working, something that you enjoy. The second word is popular, which means liked by a lot of people. The third word is extremely, which means strongly. Then the word is fond of, which means like something a lot. So let's read this chapter, bird watching. Bird watching is a very interesting hobby. One person who made it quite popular was Dr. Salim Ali or the bird man of India. He was extremely fond of birds. He traveled all over the world studying different types of birds. He fought very hard to save birds from hunters who shot them for amusement. Now, in the first paragraph, as we came to know that bird watching is a very interesting hobby. And it was Dr. Salim Ali, uh, who is also known as Birdman of India, who made this hobby popular. Uh, Dr. Salim Ali uh, uh, was a bird watcher and children, his full name is Salim Moizuddin Abdul Ali. Salim Moizuddin Abdul Ali. I know it's difficult to remember, but I'm just telling you. And he was an ornithologist, a bird watcher. And he studied about birds and wrote many books on birds. Uh, so he was very fond of birds and he traveled all over the world to study about different kinds of birds. And children, there are some people who kill animals and birds just for amusement, just for their entertainment. So Salim Ali uh, fought very hard to save birds from these hunters, from these people. Now next paragraph. He gave the world a lot of information about different birds. Did you know that the tallest bird in India is the Saras crane and the smallest bird is the flower pecker? Now children, in the second paragraph, as we know that uh, Dr. Salim Ali was the first um, scientist of ornithologist or he was the first bird watcher who carried out a very systematic bird survey in India and other parts of the world. And he gave us lots of information about birds. And children, as I've told you, that he wrote many books on birds, uh, such as uh, uh, the book of Indian birds, uh, the fall of a sparrow, common birds and many more. So, um, as per his information, uh, the, the tallest bird in India is Saras crane and the smallest bird uh, is the flower pecker. Now, let's read the next paragraph. The largest bird in India is the great bustard. The national bird of India is the peacock. Here are some very interesting facts about birds. Now, children, um, uh, as um, children, uh, this uh, 
uh, in India, the largest bird is great bustard, B-U-S-T-A-R-D. The largest bird in India is great bustard. And as we know, our national bird, the national bird of India is the peacock. Then we have some very interesting facts about birds that we'll read further. The common crow is considered as one of the most intelligent birds. The tailor bird actually sew uh, together leaves with cobweb threads or fine grass to build its nest. The hummingbird makes a humming sound by flapping its wings. A bird uses its beak for eating, fighting and nest building. Now, uh, children, the common crow. The crow that we see normally in our day-to-day -day life is considered as one of the most intelligent birds. The black crow that we see daily is one of the most intelligent birds. It is considered. And there is a bird called tailor bird. Children, we know that a tailor is a person who stitches or sew clothes. So this tailor bird actually sew together leaves. And we know that tailor, uh, the tailor, uh, tailors use thread to sew our clothes. And the tailor bird uses cobweb thread or some fine thin grass to build its nest. Uh, children, cobweb. Cobweb is um, the home of spiders. It's a net of threads made by a spider to catch insects. So this tailor bird, it uses cobweb thread to sew its nest. Mm. Uh, with leaves so uh, it, isn't it interesting now the next uh, interesting fact is that the hummingbird the sound made by hummingbird is actually the sound of its flapping wings when it moves its wings up and down the sound is produced humming sound is produced so it's not actually sound made by um, the mouth of this, uh, the beak of this hummingbird. It is actually the sound of its fla flapping wings. Then, um, and another interesting fact is that uh, the bird, the bird uses their beak not only for eating, but they also use it for fighting and building its nest. So, uh, children, these are the few interesting information about birds. But if you want to know more, if you want to discover more uh, facts about birds, then what you have to do? You have to buy a pair of binoculars. Here it is written, would you like to discover some uh, bird facts too? All you need is a pair of binoculars, a notebook, pencil and lots and lots of patience to take a bird watching hobby. So are you ready for it? Now, children, um, as I've told you, if you are more interested in knowing more about birds, what you have to do, you have to buy a pair of binoculars. Now, children, this binocular, what is binocular? Binocular is an instrument. It has two glass parts or you can call it lens. And when you look through it, it will make object which is far away seems nearer. It's, a, it's an instrument and when you look through it, uh, through its lenses, the things or the objects which are at distance, which are far away, it will seem nearer. So you, what you need, you need a binocular, then a notebook to note the information and then pencil and you need a lots of patience. That is very important. This hobby of bird watching requires a lots of patience. But children, I think you are too young, too small to have this hobby right now. But when you will grow up, uh, you can think of having this hobby of bird watching. Why? Because it will keep you close to nature, close to the natural environment. So the explanation part is over. And now I want to show you a picture of Dr. Salim Ali. The, he is called the bird man of India, Dr. Salim Ali, as you can see his picture. And I have some more pictures here. See, he is having an instrument. Then we have one more picture of Dr. Salim Ali, as you can see. Then we have pictures of some birds. These are some pet birds. 
rooster, chicken, duck, yellow canary, and then uh, rose ringed parakeet, then rock dove. All these are some kinds of birds. Then we have some more pictures as you can see. And these are colorful birds with different uh, shape and size. They have different types of beaks. Then we have this is common crow. And children, this is the bird which is considered as one of the most intelligent birds. As you can see. Then you have this picture of tailor bird. And children, you can see here how it had sewed the leaves to make its nest. How interesting it is. Then we have one more picture of hummingbird and you can see that it's sewing its nest with its beak. Then we have picture of this hummingbird. We have some pictures of hummingbird and the sound which is produced by this hummingbird is because of flapping its wings. So with this, we come to the end of the chapter and in our next video, we'll be doing the exercise of this chapter. Thank you.